Proxima b, the closest exoplanet to Earth, has been nothing but a mystery since its discovery in 2016. It is such an elusive planet, it took scientists seven years to prove that it exists. And despite its close proximity to Earth, very little is known about it due to various reasons that I will tell you about in a bit. I will also explain why it is a top priority for observation and study. And no, it is not only because it probably harbors life, but also because a mystifying radio signal from its direction has been detected, and it has not been ruled out as an alien techno signature. Keep watching till the end, because there is something quite awesome and intriguing currently planned for the detailed study of Proxima b. And it involves a tiny spacecraft that will be pushed via laser and light sailing to the Proxima Centauri system at 20% of the speed of light. The fascinating exoplanet Proxima b, or Alpha Centauri cb, is approximately 4.2 light years from Earth, located in the famous and mythical Centaurus constellation. It is located about 7.5 kilometers from the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, which it orbits once every 11.2 days. Its size, mass, and location in the habitable zone made it a very good candidate as an Earth-like planet. Actually, many astronomers already call it a super-Earth. It is true that the star Proxima Centauri is a flare star with intense emission of electromagnetic radiation that could rip an atmosphere off Proxima b. However, such powerful enough flares have not been detected yet, and their potential effects on Proxima b are still unknown. This means that life on Proxima b could be flourishing under a thick atmosphere and under the protection of a strong electromagnetic field, especially if it has a core similar to Earth's. Mind you, such a core would probably be strong since Proxima b is 17% more massive than Earth. Such a concept has been sort of reinforced recently by a research team studying Proxima b using the HL spectrograph for rocky exoplanet and stable spectroscopic observations, or ESPRESSO for short, which is a Swiss spectrograph that is currently mounted on the European Southern Observatory, ESO for short, in Chile. Scientists believe that Proxima Centauri's flare activity generates a total X-ray emission similar to that produced by our Sun. This means that once the exoplanet's distance from its dim star and the facts we know about red dwarfs are punched into the equation, we get a Proxima b that has great potential for sustaining life. Proxima b remained elusive a little more than seven years before it was confirmed as an exoplanet by the High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher. It all started in 2007, when a discovery team started looking for planets with similar masses to Earth's in the habitable zone around Proxima Centauri, using the European Southern Observatory, but they found nothing. Somehow, Proxima b flew under their radar. Why? Well, in simple words, because it orbits a very dim star and they were looking for much larger than Earth stars. Some of the methods that helped them not give up, after so many years of searching, was the use of the Doppler effect method. In a nutshell, they observed whether the star Proxima Centauri was being affected by a gravitational tug caused by a planet nearby. Believe it or not, this method is sort of used in police radars to detect how fast a car is moving. Astronomers can do something similar by aiming their telescopes to measure the light of a star. When a star is moving toward us, its light appears to shift towards the blue end of the spectrum. And when it's moving away from us, the light appears red shifted. Luckily, Proxima b was causing its parent star to wobble just enough to change the star's velocity. This made the team of astronomers more determined to find the exoplanet. The data was good, but not conclusive enough to say that Proxima Centauri had a planet. So, they resorted to the pale red dot method. The pale red dot idea was based on the concept that a planet in the glow of Proxima Centauri would be bathed in red light and thus appear as a pale red dot in observations by the high accuracy radial velocity planet searcher. This whole new idea came into existence because the team of astronomers remembered how Earth appeared as a tiny blue dot in images sent by the Voyager 1 spacecraft while on its trek toward interstellar space in 1990. It worked like magic, and they were able to confirm the existence of Proxima b and determine that it's about the same size as Earth and in the habitable zone. In 2020, another planet named Proxima Centauri c was discovered, and as of 2022, a third planet Proxima Centauri d was confirmed. Proxima b was elusive and then turned into a source of mystery, and it all started in May 2019 after the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia 
picked up a faint radio signal while observing Proxima Centauri, the star hosting the Proxima b. Ironically, the researchers behind the telescope merely pointed it towards the star to catch some of its flares and were not even looking for a techno signature. And here is what is interesting. They did not even notice the signal at the time. All that changed in October 2020 when an undergraduate student at Hillsdale College was sifting through the data and found a narrow band transmission at a frequency of 982.002 MHz in a portion of the radio spectrum not used by human-made transmitters. His discovery showed that the signal appeared during five 30-minute periods over several days, all while the telescope was pointing directly at Proxima Centauri. The techno signature was dubbed the Signal BLC-1. It was unlike anything astronomers encountered. And even today, scientists are still unable to confirm or deny that it was an alien techno signature. They simply cannot explain it, because it is the hallmark of an artificial signal and distinctly unlike all known natural radio sources. Of course, there are many theories out there debunking it and saying that it's not from an alien source. However, no concrete evidence has been provided. This leads us to wonder, what if it is the real deal? Should we send a reply? Are they listening? Are we ready for our first interstellar dialogue? If it was up to me, or most space enthusiasts, the answer would be yes. However, NASA and other space agencies are unable nor allowed to proceed with such steps due to bureaucratic obstacles and, of course, politics. But, since nothing is allowed to hinder the spirit of exploration, NASA has funded something to resolve this dilemma and to also get a very close look at intriguing Proxima b. Of course, this step could not involve using any of the technologies we have now, because that would mean a probe would take about 6,300 years to reach Proxima b, if not more. But, what if we could send a very tiny probe that will be delivered to Proxima b on a laser beam traveling at 20% of the speed of light? No, you are not dreaming. This probe's name is Starshot, and it's currently being developed under the Breakthrough Initiative. NASA has allocated some of the funds, and the remaining costs are being funded by private donors. Stephen Hawking was one of the founders of this great initiative in 2016. The whole concept is based on using a ground-based light beamer to push, or rather carry, ultralight miniature space probes attached to light sails at speeds of up to 100 million miles an hour the Starshot probe would be able to reach Proxima b in about 20 years from launch and beam home images of planet Proxima b and any other planets that may lie in the system, as well as collect other scientific data such as analysis of magnetic fields. This leads us to the big question. Is Proxima b habitable? Well, scientists still do not know for sure. However, I went through quite a lot of data in an attempt to decipher what direction scientists lean to. What I have observed is that most evident points to a habitable, rocky Proxima b that can sustain water, and possibly have a robust atmosphere that protects it from the red dwarf flares, even if it turned out to be tidally locked. However, most scientists say that it's still early to say. In conclusion, it's complicated. Keep your fingers crossed and your imagination in full throttle. What was a mere dream and fantasy yesterday is bound to become the reality of tomorrow. Space is not the final frontier. It is merely the beginning of a whole new massive, incomprehensible front for exploration and human expansion. For more awesome videos, subscribe, share, comment if you like, and do not forget to hit the notification button because we are always working to bring you the best, most accurate, awesome space and astronomy videos.